This is a quick tutorial on how to mainly toggle the JC editor so that you can be able to go in and actually edit some custom code. So I am currently logged in to the back end as an administrator and let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is go to an article. I'm going to go to content and article manager and I'm just going to pick a random article. It doesn't matter which one. Um, now I'm not going to pick what I have some custom code in. So I'm just going to go down here to We Value Your Opinion. I'm going to click on that. And there is a Show Hide toggle right above our JCE editor right here. And I'm going to click on Hide. And as you can see, that graphic there went away, but it is still there, so no need to worry. See, I can just toggle this back and forth, and all it does is hide this. So I'm going to hide this, and I'm going to click on Save. And then I'm going to go up here to my item that contains my custom code, which um, the article I inserted was called Facebook Album. I'm going to click on that. Now, here's my code. Now, if I was to toggle back to the editor, my code would just be gone. Um, it's just kind of a known little glitch of the JCE editor. It does eat custom code. Um, as long as you have the toggle hiding the JCE editor, you're fine. So anyways, um, I was just going to show you real quick to the uh, Facebook album ID. If you want to change that, it has to be changed in this place and this place. And it's the same number in this place. There we go. It's the same number and that number is actually, if you click on your album, it's the number after the A in between the two periods. So, anyways, just a little FYI there. And I'm going to click on Save. And of course, um, whenever I'm done tinkering around with my custom code, I can always go back in to any other article and then show the editor. And I'm going to click Save. That way, next time I pull up an article to edit or make a new one. There's my show hide. And it's automatically set to show. Okay, just um just give me a call if you have any questions. Thank you.